there. Hold on, I'll be with you in just a second. <sighs> I'm trying to find my football helmet, but I just can't find it anywhere. What's that? It's where? On my head. Oh, well, there it is. What do you know? Thanks. Okay, Molly, are you ready for our game of touch football? Are you? Ha, ha, ha. What's that? You smell an old boot. Hmm. Well, I don't see an old smelly boot around here anywhere. Hmm. I don't smell anything bad like that either. But, ah, my mouth tastes kind of funny. Oh, my mouth doesn't really smell like an old boot, does it? I need to brush my teeth. Well, the football game will have to wait. To the bathroom. Come on. Now, Molly, you sit here while I show you the proper way to brush your teeth. Uh, you have to make sure you're all the way below. I also want you to show your teeth. So you guys up and down. Are you sure you like this? No? What I said was, you have to make sure to brush every tooth. First you brush up, and then you brush down very carefully, like this. So now you have to show what you're saying. Uh huh. Good. Can't fool me, Molly. I know it was you playing with the handle. Now remember, you only flush when you have to so you don't waste water. Now come with me. Brushing your teeth isn't the only thing you have to do at the start of each day. Now hold still. I get behind your ears. There you go. Oh, and mine too. There. All done. Now, let's go play. There we go, Ma. Hubba wah? Where did all this toilet paper come from? supposed to do with all this stuff? <sighs> well, it would be a shame to see it all go to waste. Let's see now. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> hey, I can make a wig out of it. Or uh, a bandage. <gasps> or hey, a duster.
What do you think? Do you like it? I'm a cheerleader. Watch. Give me an M, give me an O, give me an L, L, Y. What's that spell? Molly, yay, yay. You know what, Molly? I want to run a race. Yeah, that's it. I'm Lunette, the fastest clown in the world, running for the gold medal, heading to the finish line. Thank you, thank you. No, oh, you're too kind, thank you. Whew. Ooh, running that race made me kind of stiff and sore. Well, I should have warmed up first, stretched out a bit. Oh, of course, the clock rug. Academy. Okay there, team, listen up. This is head coach Lunette speaking. Today, we're not gonna do any of that artsy, blartsy, dancey stuff. No! Today, we are gonna do the Socko Jocko Sports Montage! Yeah! Hit it! Storybook? Now? Alrighty. Okay. He's on. Oh, and turn on the light. It's important to have good light. Ready? Here we go. This is the story of Ferguson Bear. This is the story of Ferguson Bear, a chubby young fellow with long, fuzzy hair. He loved to play football. He loved to play soccer. He loved to run races, this Ferguson bear. At the end of the day, his long fuzzy hair had mud over here and dirt over there. His ears were quite messy, his feet really filthy. He needed a bath, our Ferguson bear. Out went the socks and the blue underwear, and into the washer went Ferguson bear. He spun and he tumbled, he rocked and he rolled. He was dripping and soaking. Poor Ferguson Bear. Then into the dryer went Ferguson Bear, legs and arms all akimbo and soaking wet hair. He rolled and he rumbled, he bumped and he stumbled. He grew very fluffy, dear Ferguson Bear. And then late at night, 
he was willing to share the warmth of his hugs and his long, fuzzy hair. He snuggled in close. He smelled fresh and clean. He fell fast asleep, our Ferguson bear. Huh. Well, don't worry, Molly. I would never put you in the washing machine. When we get dirty, you and I can take a bath together. I promise. So, want to take a bath now? Oh. ABCs instead, huh? Okay. Come on. Yippee! Howdy, hi, hello. Can you guess the letter of the day? and get some fresh air, okay? Let's go! Nope, nothing yet. Oh, here, Molly. You sit up there. There you go. Huh. Oh, hey, that sounds like... Yep, Major Bedhead. Oh, oh, Major. Oh, oh, hold on, Bedhead. I'll help you. Wait. Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Well, I was just driving along, minding my own business, when all of a sudden that old newspaper flew up off the road and wrapped itself all over my face. I couldn't see a thing. You know, clowns shouldn't leave trash just lying around like that. Somebody could get hurt. Yeah, like me. Boy, I hope this is okay. What is it? Oh, special delivery for Lunette. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Hmm. There's no note. Hmm. Wonder what's inside. Okay. Hey, look, it's another box. Well, I wonder what's inside this box. Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> hmm. another, another box. box. <sighs> All right, here, you hold it. Another box. Well, there must be something inside that one. Oh. There is. Another box. Oh, okay, okay. That's my turn. My turn. Your turn. Gee, thanks. <sighs> well, anything? Hmm. No, just a bottle of shampoo and uh, some soap and uh, just a note for Molly. You mean, you mean it's not another box? No. No, no it's not. It's, it's a present. Oh, we finally found it. It's a present. A, yes, yes. A present. A present. A present. Yes, a yes, present. yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, we found it. We found it. We found it. 
A present! It's a present! Yes! Yes! It's a present, all right? A present for Molly. Huh. Hey, Molly! Molly? Hey, Molly! Oh, she was here just a minute ago. Where could she have gone? Molly! Molly? Don't, don't you worry, Lunette. We'll find her. She's got to be here someplace. No. Molly? 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 No. Molly? Molly? What's with all the racket and noise out here? And hey, who made this big mess? We, we did. did. Well, if you made this big mess, then you've got to clean it all up. You buried my flowers. Oh, oh we're sorry about the mess, Granny. You see, Major Bedhead brought this box for me in the uh, mail. A big box. Oh, huge. And just inside of it was just box after box. Another after box, box and box. Yeah, paper and paper everywhere. and wrapping and, and, and ribbon and all kinds of... It. We can clean it all up. Everything's going to be okay. No, it's not. Molly's missing, and it's all my fault. Molly's lost. Don't you worry, Lunette. Major Bedhead is on the job. We will find her, because somewhere under all this packaging and ribbons and one of these boxes under this wrapping paper here, under the tissue, under this doll, we will find Molly. Oh, Molly, my Molly. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry for making such a big mess and burying you in boxes and... Oh, I'm just so glad you're all right. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Look what came in the mail for you today. It's a present from Auntie Macassar. See? Look. Let's see what the note says. Yep. Okay. Dear Molly, I got this tiny little bottle of shampoo. And this tiny little bar of soap just for you at the tiny little Rinkadink Hotel. It was a very small hotel, but the towels were so fluffy I could hardly get the bathroom door closed. Love from your Auntie Macassar. Everybody's happy now? Good. We've got to get moving and clean this place up. Lunette, you put Molly over there on my porch where she can watch. Major Bedhead, are you ready? Ready, Granny Garbanzo. Here we go. Slam dunk junk. Let me hear you say. Slam dunk junk. Here we go. Slam dunk junk. Let me hear you say. Slam dunk junk. Here we go. Clean it up. 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 Here we go. With the mess we made, we better clean it up. Every time we play, make a mess and then we tidy up the big to the small to the tiny to the tall. When we put it away, we're gonna dunk it like a basketball.
got dirt all over your face. <laughs> oh, you too, Major Bedhead. You're pretty dirty. Oh, thank you. But I'm much prettier clean. Well, I think it's time we all went home and got ourselves cleaned up. Bye-bye, Bedhead. So long, Lunette. Bye-bye, Granny. Granny. Oh, bye-bye, Molly. You take good care of Lunette. Thanks again, Major Bedhead. Oh, and drive carefully. Hey there, Molly. Oh, you've got a pretty dirty face, too. Oh, good thing Andy McCaster sent you some shampoo and soap, huh? What a coincidence. Well, let's go home and get cleaned up. Sure was a dirty day, wasn't it, Molly? Well, that happens sometimes. Especially when you're playing really hard. Oh, football, baseball, basketball, running and jumping and... <laughs> yes, and making a mess, too. We sure did lots of that today, didn't we? But if we make a mess, we clean it up. And if we get dirty, then we clean ourselves up, too. Don't we, Molly? <laughs> wash your ears and wash your toes. Rub your neck and elbows. Rub that dirt away it goes in our bubble tub. Shiny face and shiny hair. We are such a soapy pair. Nice and clean shows that we care in our bubble tub. <laughs> oh, it was so funny to hear Granny Garbanzo look around and say, Hey, who made this big mess? I did, didn't I? <sighs> Just one of those days, I guess. My clown girl's work is never done. Oh well, get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! What a day. I'm all tuckered out. Ugh. Well, thanks for coming to visit Molly and me. I'm just going to take a nap now. Oh, and be sure to clean up your own mess, okay? Sweet dreams. And the clown jumped over the moon. 